Salam alaikum from Ayun, Mauritania. I'm in the eastern side of the country. Um, haven't had a whole lot of time to uh, update my information on my website, so I decided to do a video blog to catch up with uh, friends from back home and to tell people exactly what I've been up to. Um, where I'm staying now in Ayun, uh, yesterday we didn't have any water, but it turned back on today. And for the past two days we haven't had any electricity. Um, we don't have a refrigerator here, and all of the boutiques that um, sell ice and cold drinks, all the refrigerators are down because there's no electricity. So it's been a rough couple of days. Um, where I'm at, it's mostly desert. Uh, temperatures during the day can get up to about 110, 115 in the sun. Uh, you, got, you have to drink a lot of water, um, but it's all warm water, so that's, that's fun. But I am having a great time. Uh, I did some hiking today, and it's absolutely a beautiful area. Um, the most magnificent, uh, a magnificent place I've seen so far. I would definitely can't wait to show you the pictures. Um, my plans right now, I'm returning back to uh, Nwadibu, uh tomorrow and the 25th, um, or uh, 24th. I'll wrap up a couple days there. I have to be out of the country by the 30th, because that's the end of my visa. And then I'll be heading down to stay with my host family in Dakar, Senegal, and I'll hopefully be doing that for a little over a month. Uh, but for right now, I thought I'd just kind of show you around uh, where I've been staying out here in Ayun. Uh, this is my compound. It's uh, owned, well not owned, but rented by one of the members of the Peace Corps. Um, over there we have our little compost pile. I have a nice big backyard. We have this little hut over here to stay out of the sun during the day. And we also uh, hang out in there, eat in there. Uh, you can sleep in there at night, but usually we just sleep under the stars. It's very beautiful skies out here, especially when the electricity's out. You can pretty much see the entire sky, clear as, clear as sky you've ever seen. Uh, we have a couple of rooms over there in the kitchen. Um, we've grown a couple plants. Um, this is our well. It's not our main water source, but uh, it's kind of an extra water source that they have here. Um, we do have a little water tap around the corner, which you can then filter and actually drink from as well. It's just kind of useful for, um, for like washing clothes and stuff like that. We have our garbage pit over here. Um, this is kind of where we throw away anything that we can't either burn or, or uh, throw into the compost. And then we have our bathroom over there, which uh, is basically a hole in the ground with a little bucket of water. I'll let you use your imagination, um, since we don't have any toilet paper, but uh, basically out here you never shake a person's left hand. It's definitely one of the most interesting places I've been in. Uh, it's definitely one of the hardest places and harshest places I've been in, but honestly the people here are amazingly friendly. I've had some great meals with some great Mauritanians, and, and it's, it's just it's a fabulous experience. Um, I'll never forget this place. I love it. Uh, the, the scenery out, outside of the city is, is phenomenal. Um, so I hope you enjoy, and I hope to get uh, some photos to you, and uh, stay tuned. I, I can't wait to get to work in the car. Peace.